What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to react to this body language Brie Larson, Don Cheadle, and Chris Hemsworth because I've done a few videos talking about the fact that Brie Larson and all of the cast members of the Avengers, it seems like they don't like her. It seems like they are very uncomfortable around her. It seems like there's uh, definitely tension in the room. She seems to think she's better than everyone, and I've been talking about that for months as far as her attitude. But let's hear from a real body language expert. Let's hear what they have to say. I'm sure they just are a woman hater too. I'm sure they're just, uh, you know, trying to hold women back. I'm sure that uh, the same things that are being uh, thrown my way will be thrown this person's way, right? Let, let's let's listen in. Uh, this is from Body Language Ghost, so please uh, go to that channel, give them a thumbs up like I just did, and uh, shoot them a subscription if you're interest, interested in that. So let's get this party started. Please consider joining us on our website. You'll have access to interesting minds, crime series, and a tutorial so you can see how I do it. Can't guarantee you'll figure it out, but I will teach you how I see people. Brie, what was it like joining this group, uh, this universe? <laughs> <laughs> uh, from the moment, like, the, the, from the out, moment, I will teach look you at this, I look at her face. Uh, Brie, what was it like joining this group? Uh, this uh, uh, this universe. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Just go to the next one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You see moments of, um, Discuss from both of them like eh. like it's an open secret that they don't like each other which can be funny at times not necessarily hostile uh intimidating <laughs> at first mostly because i this is where it all began for me was on this film we filmed this before captain marvel so i was figuring out this character but very much in the dark because there was no script to read there wasn't even um it wasn't all flushed out yet with the captain marvel solo film either so it was just he does not want to be there at all. Neither does Don Cheadle. It's obvious. Just kind of finding our way, but it was a good group of people to figure it out with. with right, guys? Yeah. Get Isn't it fun being there for all my extra <laughs> takes? I you up the apprenticeship. I don't think no, I actually learned. Off. The open secret. One thing about open secrets is that people who are in that open secret of we don't like you and I don't like you or vice versa, they're very comfortable in saying the that they don't like she elbows i don't know their names yeah i know it's bad he brings his arm up like away from her don't touch me but he's being serious about it but it's ha 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 <laughs> the open secret you see that in his face you see in his body movements you see the other one they're listening they're literally listening to everything that comes out of her mouth there's no comfortable sit back and listen they're analyzing what comes out of her mouth lack of trust Hmm, is that going to fit? Is there like initiation? Is there... and, and this woman doesn't even know their names. The woman doing the body language uh, breakdown. She doesn't even know their names. So it's not like she's coming at this from any type of bias place. She's just taking the information as it's coming to her. And she is coming to the same conclusions that I and many others have come to. That Brie Larson is very unlikable. Brie Larson is very pretentious. Brie Larson has an attitude problem. And her cast members are on the Avengers do not like her. They were like, are oh. you just are you accepting? You're like, oh. no, no, no. There was definitely a hazing period. And, I think uh, I'm still in it. She's mm. still in it. She's still yeah. in it? Yeah. Uh, but, and it's good because we actually, you know, get to kind of play with that. We do anyway, for sure. Mm -hmm. In the scene itself when she kind of shows up. So uh, it was nice, but she kind of fit right in. She paid her dues on time. Kind of fit uh, right in. The initiation dues were paid properly. <laughs> and still waiting for my membership thing. card. That has uh, uh, look at look look at Hemsworth right there. Look at Hemsworth right there. Look at the look on his face. Uh, the initiation dues are paid properly. <laughs> so he is so uncomfortable. Waiting for my membership thing. card that hasn't been received. Twenty-five dollars. Yeah, mm. that'll come. The card comes. It'll come. And then you're in. You're in. Yeah. You get your card. You it's pay your dues, and everything is in. Exactly. <laughs> Chris, you know we did a thing with your uh, your body double slash stand in, and he uh, sent a little message that is, in, in a sense, a message. In a sense, a challenge. I want to see him hold a handstand for let's be let's be generous. I want to see Chris hold a handstand for five seconds. What? what? I can't even do it. Why would Bobby set me up like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm against a wall or what? I don't know. Bobby just said Bobby just said he he was like 
I want to see Chris do that. <laughs> well, we heard we're, we're, we're tight on space in here, you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he can walk in his hands for like 50 meters. So what? He's, yeah, no, he's, he's wow. proper, proper, whatever you call that skill. Stunt. And standy man. Circus. She's also lifting herself. You see her stunt? She's trying to be taller than these two gentlemen who are actually very relaxed. They're comfortable in their position in life or in the room or with each other. We don't really know at this point. But she is really trying to dominate them. I guess in her mind, domination equals acceptance, which we've seen that other places. In reality, submission will get you a lot further in friendship circles than trying to dominate and boss everyone around. Circusy. Circusy. Yeah, yeah. But what is that relationship like? Because you now are coming out with your whole, doing the whole thing. Yeah, it's great because he uh, just gets injured and I don't. So. And she's still keeping <laughs> it up. She's not actually relaxed at all. She's in the middle, which really nobody likes the middle anyways. They tend to keep themselves inward, especially if you're one of those people that's a non-toucher. But her back is straight, which has nothing to do with not touching anyone. And it's staying stiff and her head is up. Chin at an angle of domination. I can be just as tall as you. I dominate. Uh, he does all the hard <laughs> stuff and makes me look cool. And, and then, but now I've told you, it doesn't make me look cool, does it? And then now, <laughs> it makes me look cool. And she lifts her chin up even more, squint in the eyes. It's unfortunately for her personality, she doesn't really he, understand that the social norms. He, he, he's being humble. He's being humble. And she's getting pissy. This is normal for him to say things like this. He's giving credit to the stuntman. That's a norm. That's a socially acceptable norm. It makes people like you to be humble. Because you know that no. I don't actually do it. Um, so hey, you don't do... I see, do all my stunts. I did, I did my stunts because I thought that that's what everyone did. Uh, and then... Tom, Tom Cruise over here? No, no. I want to be the first me, not the next Tom Cruise. Thank oh. you very much. Well, wow. you know, I mean, he does his own stunts, yeah. you know. No, I do, we all do stunts. Yeah. But there's Ooh, she's looking, giving him lasers. I like, he might die. So I'm like, you can do that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you just send him out. Very generous. Yeah. Yeah. In many ways, this is a... Yeah, very unprofessional in that statement to sit there and do that. And also shows her maturity level and her social ineptness that she cannot relate to other people or situations to be acceptable and still holds her head up through it. That's the other thing that gets me. She's still holding her head up through it. Like I've completely been a she's not modest in it. There's nothing ending for others for some. And it's a beginning for others like breathe and say, Hey, you're the new kid. This is a start but for others. Clearly this is the end game. Yeah. Clearly. How is how how emotional is that? Say? They're so verbal and honest with each other. It's hilarious. <laughs> this poor interviewer <laughs> is really trying to be <laughs> that go between, the buffer that makes this a good interview and not claws coming out. And he's verbally negotiating with them. Let's be nice. Saying goodbye to this. How, how can people not see how uncomfortable this is? How is anybody anybody defending this? It is clearly uncomfortable they clearly don't like her they clearly don't want to be around her she's clearly an arrogant human being <laughs> i just i don't know how anybody can defend it and he's smiling for no real reason other than to try and transfer a smile let's be nice this family this group what what i really liked seeing was on the day that we when we did that big photograph and everybody got together and everybody had a book and everybody was going around like it was, you know, the last day of high school. They could I was hoping they'd show her again, but he starts talking and she looks over and down at him. So you see the back of the neck is very straight and the chin is downward. She's looking down on this gentleman. That's so sad. Parents, please raise your children with some humility or this is what you're going to get. You get a congressman, a potential president. Or a psycho pretending to be a hero. Sign my book. Do you sign my book? You know, Let's hear that one one more other. time. That's the other thing about it. Pretending to be a hero. A psycho pretending to be a hero. Do you get a congressman, a potential president, or a psycho pretending to be a hero? Do you sign my book? Do you sign my book? And, you know, new people are meeting each other. And that's the other thing about this. There's so many characters. And we're all coming in for this last sort of moment that... Uh, there's all these new relationships being built and, you know, we kind of get to come back and meet each other again, see each other again. There's a real, I think, uh, affection among the cast members. Except for... No, this is terrible. <laughs> and, and, and you see what he's doing right there. Don Cheadle. 
He's saying exactly what we all know, that there is such a chemistry and a respect among the entire cast, except for that one. That's what he says. <laughs> is it like... There's the open secret. I think uh, affection among the cast members, except for... No, this is <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Is it like there's the open secret getting into the Hall of Fame in sports like becoming an Avenger? Is it like like you won? You're like this is the thing. Once you get in there, is this like you reach the the pinnacle, the club? Uh, I mean, it's, at this point, you start to feel wow. This is the realization of how incredible this opportunity is and what we're a part of. How amazing it is. Um, I mean, the the first film for me anyway was like you know. I thought I was going to be fired most days. <laughs> was anyone going to turn up? Oh, my God. This woman. I think she likes this guy in the brown. <laughs> I think it's driving her absolutely nuts that she can't figure out how to get him to like her back. I do believe he's married. I'm pretty sure he's married. Humans like to validate themselves with each other, even in the opposite sex, even though they wouldn't do anything. They like to, oh, I'm still pretty. They still think I'm hot. Oh, they respect me. They still think I'm smart. And I'm sitting there watching him with her. She's got a tight smile and her eyes are softened with him and looking at him. It gives the illusion of bedroom eyes. She also doesn't stretch out her back and neck as much with him. But she's trying to have that demeanor of strength. I'd say it was going to be ridiculous or whatever. And, and so, but yeah. The blinking. It's a slow blinking too. Yeah, I think there's definitely for all of us now a sense of... Uh... And she waves back, looks back at the interview. Certainly pride and, and just complete appreciation for... And then blinks some more, that slow blinking, and then back with bedroom eyes to him. It's like she's animosity to the guy in the white jacket and to the brown jacket. But the guy in the white jacket is, I'm going to be mean to you because that's my way of flirting with the guy in the brown jacket who I'm going to be mean to too. He's going to notice my subtle cues because men are supposed to be mind readers. Or maybe he's just a gentleman and he doesn't cheat on his wife. But I don't care about that. What we're a part of? Mm -hmm. Expectation. She always gives him a positive head shake, too. We've seen, seen this quite a few times as he speaks. Or they're saying this movie could hit two billion easy. What is that like when you talk about a movie in this day and age could hit two billion dollars? Do you fathom that? Do you ever think that? Mm. Um, no. I mean, it's just something that really clearly shows you the worldwide appeal uh, for a story like this and that. And we were talking about it before. We were saying just when we thought there was nothing else that would, could come out of it. It's, there's new characters and there's new ways to tell, tell the stories and new ways that these characters can interact. See her tracking him? She is not closing her eyes in that slowness. She's literally just watching his every movement and analyzing his conversation completely. Act and develop. So it can just, it can go on and on. And, you know, like I said, there's been a sort of a passing of the torch and uh, brief. And the guy in white looks past her to the guy in brown. He just has to not screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Any pressure with that, Brie? No. And she has some softness when it comes to the white jacket. Can you tell I really don't watch these movies? Not since Stan Lee died. And even then, I don't bother to remember any of these actors' names. I felt okay until he said it like that. <laughs> and then now I feel a little scared. Yeah. Uh, but that's, no, it's fine. Yeah, no, thanks for jumping on me. No, 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 you're quite fine. successfully you're, you're stolen fine. the torch. <laughs> is, is there any competition between the different <laughs> sex, the different groups? I, think, I, I, I just caught this. I just caught this. This this look from you're Cheadle. Fine. No, thanks for jumping on me. Watch this. He just wrote it. Let me see if I can get it back to... All right, so he, he, he just rolls his eyes up. He does not you're like her. No, thanks for jumping on me. No, 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 you're quite fine. You're going to be stolen the tools. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there any competition between the different sex, the different groups? There There's no competition for me because I'm the strongest, so it's just yeah. kind of like a different... Well, yeah, you should let her think that, but... Yeah. It's not. As you I've are. said before, it's not. It's just a fact. It's not a personal opinion. No, and It's no, not no. a reflection of... He did a weird move and he squeezed his shoulders in, but we didn't get to see the follow through. He's uncomfortable arguing with her. You see it here. He's looking down. He's trying to make it a playful thing, which probably makes him very attractive to people because he likes to take his sarcasm and turn it into a joke, which idiots can't figure out. They think they're being flirted with and then they don't understand why it doesn't come to anything. So she thinks she's being interacted with in a positive way. Head up. 
Good eye contact. What you can't do, but it is also kind of a reflection on all the it's And she leans in towards him. Oh, called this one. A little smile on her face. He interacted with me. Haha, <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> He's getting uncomfortable picking at his pants because she's not understanding the cues he's giving her. It's yeah. just that you, you just, you're just not that strong. <laughs> but she's really smart and, you know, um, but should we have a fight? And she can eat bacon. I feel like, like we're, we're fighting business. right now. <laughs> I think it's been an all day thing. I'm covering. And she eats bacon. Is that the oh, thing? like nobody's business. A lot. Three pigs on the way down. <laughs> she ate three whole pigs on the way down. That's the secret to everything. Just an escalator on the way down. Yeah. I did, I did come down the escalator with a plate of bacon. So. Aren't you she coming out with a whole line of bacon dispensers? <laughs> <laughs> bacon dispensers. It's called marvelous bacon. <laughs> Brie, are you still riding high from the numbers from the movie from Captain Marvel? Or is it still like know. a, like, yes? Was there any nerves going into that? I felt nervous like the day before it came out. I didn't feel nervous before, but then suddenly it was like, oh no, what did I do? And everyone was like, it's too late for you to be stressed out about this. Like it's kind of done already. But I think for me, what I'm proud of is that it's, it's normalizing something that should have been normalized a long time ago. It's not a crazy concept to me that women can lead giant franchises and make money for corporations. It's fine, you know what I mean? It's like, we can do that too, everybody can do it. Wonder Woman only came out a few years ago. Force Awakens only came out a few years ago. Aliens, you know, Princess Leia, original trilogy. I mean, Sigourney Weaver's been kicking ass for as long as I can remember. Yeah, Terminator 2. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And you're acting like you're the first when you're not. Or we're just going to forget every woman that's ever been in cinema and just act like Brie Larson is the first ever female. She is trying to put herself on a pedestal for something that other women have done. This is why I can't stand this woman. Let's hear what the expert has to say. Um, and so I think to be able to break that ceiling in a way, and of course it's always done with the help of the fans and of the, the Marvel legacy that they've created with these guys. Yeah, those guys really don't like that kind of talk. Break the ceiling. Oh, come on. I think it's been shattered about 20 years ago. Bam! Bam! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, whoever you are, body language expert lady. Oh, come on. I think it's been shattered about 20 years ago. And it's not appealing to sit there and watch somebody try and dominate everyone. It just makes you look like a dictator. Yep. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I mean, it, it's... Go. It's and it's not appealing to sit there and watch somebody try and dominate <sighs> everyone. It just makes you look like a dictator. This woman. Look how unhappy these two guys are. I mean, they do not want to be there. Now, I covered this multiple times. I've talked about this. I've broke it down. I'm not an expert. I'm just someone that can see the obvious situation here that these people on the Avengers cast do not like Brie Larson. We've talked about this over and over again, and now we have an expert that is verifying and confirming what me and so many others have noticed. It's very uncomfortable. No one likes to be around her. There is tension in the room. You can feel it. You only have to start paying attention. That's all you have to do. There's, a, there's the Brie bots out there that will absolutely deny that this is going on, but now we have an expert confirming it. So there you go. So what else do you want? What else do you need to know? The future of the MCU is in trouble. Why is it in trouble? Because they're trying to build this entire next phase with Captain Marvel at the forefront. It's not going to be good. There is a certain chemistry and a certain bond that these characters have developed over the course of the last 10 years. And, and it has carried over onto the screen. You can see that chemistry. I talk about like uh, I, the Fast and Furious franchise. Not, not that it's not a nonsensical franchise because it is. But when you look at the chemistry within the cast, you can tell that there's actually relationships between the actors. They do care about each other. They know each other. They spend time off screen together. They've, de they've developed that bond and it carries over onto the screen. Go to uh, Sam and Dean Winchester from Supernatural. You can tell those guys actually are like brothers in real life. You see a lot of that with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. These 
actors have developed friendships and relationships off screen and it carries over to the chemistry on screen. Brie Larson is not going to help that dynamic moving forward if you're going to build this universe around her. But that's where we're at. So anyway, um, go check out Body Language Ghost. Great breakdown. Really appreciated that. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that type of content. Make sure you give them a like. Drop a comment. How many comments do they have? They have 861 comments. Uh, they have affiliate links. So they have a website, bombardsbodylanguage.com. Uh, they have a subscribe star. So uh, you know, definitely do whatever you can to support them. Good job on the video. Thank you, everyone, for checking out this video. We appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to Geeks and Gamers and check out geeksandgamers.com. Check out geeksandgamers.com slash store for our merchandise. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Thank you.